uh, we should wait for the gel uh, to be uh, cool down and uh, become solid. So I will continue our um, lecture first. Uh, uh, last week, uh, uh, we extracted the genomic DNA from the culture cell, and uh, then we use the extracted genomic DNA to do the PCR. And uh, today, we will use the PCR products. And uh, we first, we will do the restriction enzyme analysis. First, I will introduce the restriction enzymes. And restriction enzymes just like uh, the scissors. However, this scissors is a molecular scissors. And this enzyme can cut double strand DNA molecular at uh, specific points. And this specific points means some specific uh, sequence of uh, the nucleotide. And just uh, like this, just uh, like the GAATTC. Uh, usually cut DNA and a uh, palindrome. The palindrome means word or phrase when spelled backwards, spells the same words or phrase. Just like this, this uh, uh, we can say J A A T T C, and uh, we spell backwards still J A A T T C. So usually, I just say usually the DNA. Uh, the enzyme cuts the DNA and uh, the palindrome. And uh, we call this restriction site on recognition <coughs> sequence. And uh, the restriction enzyme will recognize this sequence. And uh, uh, the recognition sequence usually vary between 4 to 8, and still usually four to six nucleotides. And uh, when the restriction enzyme recognizes site, site and uh, then the enzyme can cut the double DNA. However, one enzyme can only recognize one, re uh, one site, restriction site. And uh, here we can see uh, this is EcoR1 and another is SMA1. Uh, the EcoR1 can recognize the restriction site is GAATTC. And uh, after this enzyme recognizes this site, uh, the enzyme will cut the double strand from the G, uh, between the G and the A. Here is also the G and the A. Then the enzyme generates uh, generate a stick sticky ends we can see here this one is G and uh, CTTAAA and another is G CTTAA this is sticky ends however SMA1 is another enzyme and um, he can recognize the site CCCGGG and uh, the enzyme cut between C and J we can see here if we cut between C and G, we will get a blunt end. This is uh, two different types of cut, or uh, we can call this two different types of ends. This is restriction enzymes. Then, uh, what we can do with the enzyme? First, uh, we can recombine the DNA. We can see here, this is molecular A, the red one, and molecular B, the blue one. Uh, we can, we find uh, uh, this is a uh, JGATCC in uh, this uh, restriction site in the molecular A. This is the restriction site of BAMH1, BAMH1. This is a restriction enzyme. And uh, we also found the same restriction site here, GGATCC, in the molecular B. And uh, so we can digest or cut each with the same restriction enzyme. 
BAM H1. We can use the BAM H1 to cut molecular A and cut molecular B. We can see here the BAM H1 can cut between the G and the G. Then from the molecular A, we can get a um, sticker ends like this. And from the molecular B, we can get another sticker end like this. Then we can see uh, this is a pair of the nucleotide. So we can use something like, like this. We can seal this. Then we can get a new molecular. This new molecule um, is a recombined DNA, which includes the molecular A and also includes the molecular B. Understand here? Okay, and uh, we can use this to do other experiment, to do further experiment. And uh, another application is very important, uh, and. Uh, we just recombined the plasmid DNA and our target DNA. The plasmid DNA is a circle DNA, and this DNA is in the bacterial. And uh, this DNA can replicate by itself. So we just want to put some DNA into the plasmid DNA. Then when the plasmid DNA replicate our express protein, our target DNA can um, follow the plasmid DNA, just like here. So we can see the right one is the plasmid DNA, the blue one is the target DNA, or we can see is the DNA we want to insert the plasmid. And we can use the enzyme to, uh, we, we should find the same restriction site both in the plasmid DNA and the target DNA. Then we can use the enzyme cut the plasmid DNA and the target DNA at the same time. Then we can analysis the plasmid DNA and our target DNA just like here. Then we can get a new plasmid DNA. So we can call this plasmid DNA vector and this is uh, what we want to use. Then we can use this to do some gene cloning or protein expression experiment. This we can use restriction enzyme to do some experiment. It's very useful. Um, however, today we will do something to diagnose the disease. Can you still remember the disease, the mitochondrial disease in your lecture class? Okay, great. And this is a liver's hereditary optic uh, neuropathy, and uh, is L H O N. Uh, this disease, uh, the syndrome of this disease, is a sudden and uh, painless uh, the central vision loss, and uh, um, this is a hereditary disease, and it's uh, from the mitochondrial disease. And we found uh, the most important mutation of uh, this uh, for uh, to cause this disease is uh, um, the point mutation in the mitochondrial DNA, and uh, um, eleven thousand seven hundred seventy eight J two A is very. Um, is the most causes and uh, is very important. And uh, this is in MT, mitochondrial ND4 gene. And uh, today we will check this. And uh, uh, we found, uh, we can see here, this is uh, the mitochondrial JCAT. Uh, and another is CJTAG, and uh, this is a restriction site, and, and uh, one enzyme SFAN1 can recognize this, and uh, it's uh, interesting. It won't cut. It just cut here. Is five nucleotide. One, two, three, four. 
and we, uh, the enzyme will cut here. After the restriction site, he will cut here is the five nucleotide, and this one is the nine nucleotide here. Understand here? He will cut here. And uh, the N can be A, T, C, G, any of it. And uh, it will cut here. And uh, this is in our uh, normal human being. So um, if we have a PCR product, this is our PCR product. And which can include this restriction site in our normal human beings. Then we think we add the enzyme into the products, then it will can cut here, understand here, in normal human being. Okay, and uh, this is uh, uh, a mutation here, the G mutation to uh, uh, the G mutation to A. Then we can see here, we lost the restriction site. So even we add the enzyme into the PCR product, the enzyme cannot cut here because he cannot recognize the restriction site. The restriction site is lost. So this is in the disease. Uh, so uh, we can here, um, last week we did uh, the PCR and the PCR product is uh, 924 BP and uh, so in normal samples that means without uh, the mutation and without uh, the, the LHON disease in normal samples the PCR product can be cut into two bands one is uh, 797 BP and another is 127 BP however in the disease sample the PCR product cannot be cut because the G2A point mutation. Understand here? So we can, I will show you a result. We can see here. Um, this is a marker uh, in our PCR. The marker can show us the size of the DNA. This is a uh, uh, from 100 uh, to 1020 BP and we can see here one, one the line 1, line 3 and the line 5 is the PCR product and the 2 and the 6 we can see here this we can see 2 brand can you see here 1, 2 and this is our normal sample. And uh, can see here, this is of line four. Line four, we also add the enzyme. However, there are still one band. So one band. So we can conclude from here, the line four is a sample for the LHON disease and the two and the six without the LHON disease and stand here. However, sometimes the small one is very light. Uh, maybe we cannot uh, visual it. However, we can see um, this one is, uh, um, is smaller than the PCR product. If we cannot see the small, uh, the 127 band, we can still see this one is uh, smaller than this is 797, and this is uh, 924. This one is smaller. Okay, um, because I'm afraid uh, when we do the experiment, uh, maybe we cannot see. The, the 127 band. This is the result. Uh, and uh, the protocol, uh, I have already done this. 
and because uh, this uh, we use a uh, buffer 10 times uh, one microliter the PCR product we use uh, six microliter and the restriction enzyme we use today is uh, SFNA1 and is three microliter and uh, the total volume is uh, 10 microliter and uh, we put this in the water bath for uh, overnight or over three hours and uh, today we over three hours and this is the protocol of today however we cannot uh, we use the DNA pro, uh, with our naked eyes so we should use this to do another experiment is I grow the gel electrophoresis and the gel electrophoresis is a procedure that separates molecules in the basis of their rate of movement through a gel under the influence of an electrical field. And uh, uh, the molecule here we can be DNA, RNA, or protein. And the gel electrophoresis is widely used and for analysis the nucleus such as DNA, RNA and proteins. However, the eye growth, today we will just use eye growth gel electrophoresis is routinely used to preparation and analysis of DNA. This is eye growth gel electrophoresis. Uh, here I will tell you some principle of the uh, eye growth gel electrophoresis. Uh, the DNA is uh, uh, neg negatively charged. Understand here? It's negatively charged. So the DNA um, placed in an electrical field, it will migrate toward the positive pole here. So the direction is from the black one to the right one. And uh, an agro's gel is used to slow the movement of the DNA and separate by size. We can see this is a picture uh, under the electron microscope. And uh, we can see the polymerized agro's is uh, porous. Um, so this can allow in for the movement of the DNA. So this is uh, in the gel. And uh, here, the gel electrophoresis will separate the DNA according to the site. The small DNA will run faster than the large DNA. Can understand here? So, um, I just showed you the result. You can see we can separate the um, 900 BP and the 700 BP from the, uh, the agarose gel electrophoresis. Um, this is the principle of uh, the electrophoresis and uh, the concentration of the gel is different. We usually use the agarose gel from the 0.7% to the 2% uh, and uh, the 0.7% is good separate, uh, separation or resolution of uh, large DNA from the 5 to 10 kb DNA and uh, the 2% uh, um, gel can is good resolution for small one from the 0 0.2 to 1000 bp and so today we will use uh, about 2% agarose gel and uh, I just uh, show you, I will show you again because uh, some students are late today. This is a power supply and this is a gel tank. This is a casting tray and this is a comps. And uh, this is a cover and this is a electrical leads. And this is all the equipment for the gel electrophoresis. And uh, the, proto uh, the protocol we have, uh, this we have to first we prepare the gel casting tray and uh, make a 2% agarose solution and uh, melt the agarose 
and uh, we will now we are waiting for the gel cold down and become solid. Uh, after the gel has cooled down and uh, become solid, we should carefully remove the comb. We will remove the comb and uh, then we will put the gel into a tank. This tank with TAE buffer, just like this. And uh, this tank we can see um, the liquid is the TAE buffer. And we can see here is the wells. Um, because we removed the comb and uh, the well generated. Um, and this is the negative pole and this is the positive pole. We can see, uh, we should make sure the wells is uh, near the negative pole because the direction of the DNA will run to the positive pole. Understand here? So uh, if we put in another direction, the DNA will go into the TAE buffer, won't in the uh, gel. So this is the, uh, the tank. We just put the gel into the tank. And the TAE should cover the gel and to a depth at least one micrometer. Make sure each well is filled with buffer. That means uh, in the wells there are no bubbles. This is the step six. Then we will mix the samples of the DNA with the five times the loading buffer. Um, we will uh, just like uh, we uh, first the DNA lighter. DNA lighter, I just told you, DNA lighter is a DNA marker. It will, to, will tell us uh, the uh, BP of the DNA. And uh, add the loading buffer to microliter. And uh, another sample, we have the PCR products. Uh, each group have one product. And, uh, Eight microliter and add uh, the loading buffer to microliter, and uh, another product is the restriction uh, reaction product. Still eight microliter and add the loading buffer to microliter, and uh, the loading buffer we will see is blue. So um, the DNA. The solution, uh, the products of the PCR and uh, the restriction reaction products is also uh, transparent. However, the loading buffer is below, so we can see here. And uh, um, the, the blue one is just uh, the dyes, it's not the DNA. Understand here? Uh, we cannot uh, we, uh, see the DNA with our naked eyes. And uh, carefully place the pipette tip over a well and gently expel the sample. Uh, that means uh, we use a pipette and put the pipette tip in the well and uh, just expel the, just uh, uh, pipette down the um, solutions into the well. This should be carefully because the well is very small. We should make sure all the products uh, um, is um, put it into the wells, and uh, the sample will sink into the well. And uh, be careful, do not uh, puncture the gel with the pipette tip. That means do not uh, touch the gel with the tip. We just uh, put the solution into the well. However, we cannot uh, put the uh, touch the gel with our pipette tip. This is, uh, um, you will do here. And uh, place the cover on the electrophoresis chamber and connecting the electrolytes. And apply the current. Uh, um, today we will use 120 voltage for 30 minutes, nearly 30 minutes. We will watch it. And the color dye in the DNA lighter, molecular weight, and the DNA samples as a front view. We can see, uh, not here. Uh, that means, uh, uh, sorry. And the blue one will run faster here since it's a front view. 
and、uh, when the front view approach the middle of the gel, the current、uh, can be stopped. Just for today's experiment, if you do some、uh, other experiment,、um, you can depend on the size of the DNA. You can、uh, stop it.、Uh, Um, depend on the size of DNA, you can、uh, select it, and、uh, the DNA is visible under the ultraviolet light. I will, uh, um, we will use、uh, ultraviolet light to see the DNA. So if we see the blue band, it's just the dye.、Uh, we can only see the DNA under the ultraviolet light. Understand here, and uh, uh, the band uh, today we will see is the red one, and、uh, you can take the picture and、uh, you can、um, discard the color. Then it will be black and、uh, white, like here. Understand here? This is all our experiment.、Um, and、uh, another thing I want to make is uh, uh, the whole experiment.、Uh, We did、uh, last week and today is the first、uh, genomic DNA extraction, PCR restrictionism analysis, agarose gel electrophoresis. That means if we want to diagnose one disease,、um, which have a mutation in the DNA, we should follow this procedure.、Um, and.、Uh, Uh, the difference is、uh, the genomic DNA. Ex we extracted the genomic DNA from the culture cell. If we, you want to diagnose a、uh, disease, you should uh, extracted uh, extract the genomic DNA from the blood. Okay.、Uh, yeah, all of them. Maybe first you will identify. Yeah, 好棒啊！